Rahim, Assalamualaikum Warahmatullahi Wabarakatuh and a very good day to everyone. So, how is your semester break? I hope you are doing fine and for whatever result that you have achieved for last semester, whether it's going to be good or maybe it's, it's going to be just just decent or just enough or maybe it's not doing good, then but it's okay. You have to start all over again for the new semester so i want you to bring the new determination and the new motivation for this new semester which is semester two for the year 2019 and 2020 okay and welcome to the course of petroleum and gas engineering for three zero three Okay, so make sure that you enroll in the right uh, course, which is petroleum and gas processing. So, basically, of course, by enrolling in this course, you must have the background or you must have the enthusiasm towards petroleum and gas processing, right? I can say so. Okay, so, but before that, let me introduce myself. Uh, my name is Dr. Mohamad Haikal bin Ismail and my phone number is 0397694676. Uh, my email address is haikal at upm.edu.my Okay, let me introduce myself a little bit. When I was uh, doing my undergraduate in UC Technology Malaysia, I think 10 years ago in chemical engineering, I was so so enthusiastic and so crazy about all I guess engineering because my uh, no my family uh, I have two two person in my family was working in the oil and gas industry and they are making a uh, fortune and making a good life so that kind of like inspires me to go uh, and have experience in the field and for my final year I enrolled in, uh, I think, geology and refinery course um, and oleochemical, um, something that related to oil and gas processing. And uh, uh, I went to the interview with Slumber J and during the interview, even though unfortunately I couldn't get the in the, the 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 interview I mean the, the slots but I managed to get noticed during the interview and the interviewer uh, kind of like approaching me because she said that I have the potential so she she asked for my permission to to recommend me to other company because at the time Slambaja was aiming to hire more females at that time at the moment of time so i i can see i can I, I can see that so no wonder during my session only three female were recruited okay so uh, that's the that's the background about me and then after that after i finished my uh, final exam which is i think around okay for example i finished my final exam on friday and then i got uh, and then i called no, 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 before that, before I'm about to finish my final exam, I called the company because I want to go for the interview and then I went to interview uh, during the final, at the end of the semester of the finals uh, for the last semester. And then uh, I started working on Monday. Uh, Friday was my final exam and I started working on Monday in oil and gas industry in Kemaman supply base in Terengganu with the uh, with the sub cons over there mm, uh, okay let me let me explain a little bit what it is like in the oil and gas platform it's because I don't want you to get uh, I don't want you to be shocked or whatever the kind of, whatever things that is negative so it's not too late, which is, it's not too late to turn the things to be positive. 
because uh, during my for my experience because I don't have I have no idea what to expect because for my internship I did my internship uh, in Shell Shell Sarawak uh, Miri for three months but at that time I I didn't go to the OLS platform so I don't have any expectation or want to expect over there so I just look from the YouTube and from from people's story people's experience that's all I never had the hands on on what it is really like in on the platform <clears throat> okay so during my internship in Shell it was doing well actually it's not that well because uh, I don't I, I didn't become myself because I think that is one of the skills that you have to uh, polish during, uh, not not during. Uh, of course, during your final year before you graduated, before you graduate, and especially for your first job because for your first job it is really 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 important for you to step up the game and to be always ready. And uh, for my f- back to my f- first time working experience. I admit that it was my mistake because I was not ready to work. Because most of my friends, they had uh, several days or several months off before they started working. And I didn't do that because, of course, right? Because uh, at that time, I was living in a really competitive mode of um, uh, culture with my clique. So we wanted to kind of like find who's going to work first. <laughs> so, of course, <laughs> so I was the first person to work and yeah things don't go right as I planned because um, at that time no it's not that I don't like to work in all I guess industry but I didn't start uh, the momentum on the first day already because at that time uh, three uh, my other clicks which is uh, we start at the same time they are ready already to work so I for example right, they already in the queue for example for the car already uh for right uh driving the car they are they are already in the queue too but I was not even started my gear at all so how do I make sure that I can cope up with their motivation and what's up or not <coughs> sorry mm, so that is one thing that you have to set in mind because I believe that you are going to finish very soon right. So you have to remember this because I always advise my 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 students, my friends, and my colleagues to, uh, to be always to be to always be ready uh, when it comes to uh, working when it comes to work, right? Mm, yeah. So that's why during the time the experience, uh, because of that, because of that kind of thing, because I'm I was not ready, so everything like falls down apart. Hmm. So. Because especially for the experience in oil and gas, it was it was fun. Uh, because I mean, like ten years ago, of course there is no internet, right? Uh, so of course you're gonna be fe- you're gonna feel so like really lonely, and mm, of course you don't want to talk with the same person like all the time. <laughs> and yeah, even though there are so many entertainment over there, but like you can go karaoke, you can like play soccer, you can yeah, but but there's no internet. Uh, yeah, that's the thing. I'm not sure about now, but I bet there must be internet already. Okay, so I think things will be right because actually you don't have to really work like twenty four hours. Yeah, uh, usually uh, I think I have to finish it work around five, four, sometimes four, sometimes five. It's not that, but it's quite in te- labor intensive. So that's one thing. If you are already like physically and mentally, uh, so you have. You need to have the second thought on working in the, especially in the oil and gas uh, industry. In the, but if you want to work in the oil and gas processing, uh, then it's going to be fine. Okay, so uh, <clears throat> come back to the course. The, t- the timetable, it will be on Monday, 2 until 7 at BK14. And the assessment will include test 1, which will be held on week 5 or week 6, case studies. Mini lectures, which will be conducted through SCL method, and final exam.
so if let's say you want to interact with me through through social media you can scan the code here on my facebook and this one on my link because uh, the key uh, it doesn't apply to only the students because i believe that this applies to anywhere if let's say you want to you want to get noticed you have to stand out so one of the thing is by using social media so that pe i will know you personally and people will know you when you when it comes to work later on but of course you have to post something like really positive only so that people will not judge you <laughs> on that okay now i have one task for you i want you to introduce yourself by describing your own self in 10 words put it uh, write it on the piece of paper or you can write it or you can do it uh, using powerpoint or whatever it is make it as creative as you can you can draw you can you can color or whatever it is and i give you five minutes from now Okay, once you are ready, you can go, uh, you can upload all your pictures, uh, all, you, all your descriptions in this uh, wall, padlet wall. So this is the scan code, the, the QR code that you can scan. And this is the URL in case if you cannot scan the code. Okay, and the next task is, um, but make sure you put you don't put your real name yeah in your wall right I, I don't think i don't think it's gonna appear your your real name hmm. okay just don't put any names at all okay uh and next task is i want to i want i want each and every of you to guest for example right this one okay yeah, let me type like this uh for example i love reading novels and watch report drama okay blah 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 i'll make make sure that uh the, the description is done in 10 words okay and then i want you to guess who who is this? Who the person is this? Okay, so uh, so you, uh, it depends on you on how you want to present it, and make sure you submit it in the Ultra Blast. Okay, I will open the link for Ultra Blast. the line is not the okay it's okay after this i will link i will i will open the link on putra blast and you can upload uh, your the list of your friends that you have guessed in the putra blast link okay don't forget to check it out okay so uh that's all for the first session we will move forward for the next session after this all right see you